Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. Got my two helpers to get the message across in this video. We've been talking about forbearances and the negative effect they could have in the secondary market. There's a chain, there's a domino effect. If someone's not paying the mortgage, then that servicer is gonna have issues and then the secondary market is gonna have issues. Let's say typically Sophie here has a mortgage, right? She pays the servicer, which is Jeremy. The servicer gets the money and then the secondary market investor gets their money. But what happens if Sophie doesn't pay the servicer? Then there's a lot of issues there, especially when you're talking the millions and millions of forbearances that are happening right now and the trillions of dollars potentially that are not being passed along. The FHFA is saying, okay, for the servicers, you're gonna have to eat those first four late payments, those first four forbearance payments, and then the FHFA will come in and supplement. They'll come in and they'll help with any monies over and above those four payments to make sure that these servicers don't fall apart. Now, the Fed is also saying they might come in and fill that gap of those four payments. Fannie and Freddie has also said that they'll come in and they will purchase some of these loans from these servicers to help them, the servicers that are struggling because they have so many forbearances. This is good news. It could help us with getting lower rates uh, as we move forward because part of why interest rates are a little bit higher than they should be based on the markets is because of all the forbearances coming through. So I wanna thank my helpers. Sophie, thank you. Jeremy, thank you. It's part of the new normal. They're in the office here with me, doing their schoolwork and stuff and helping me out. So Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Why is your throat so big?